with psi and minus psi. You don't get it, do you? <laughs> okay, so that's the difference between you and me. When I'm seeing the derivative, I'm seeing this. Yes, that's why math is fun for me. Uh, yeah, okay, so here it is. So you know, I have no idea what Kenji is talking about. Yes? Yeah, so here is what I'm going to tell you. Yes? Are you with me? Yeah, I'm going to introduce the uh, coordinates. Yes? Hello, hello. Yes, and uh, you, I was rotating the key. Yes? That's unit circle. Do you see what I'm drawing? Yes, can I have your key again? I like your key, yes. Yeah, so this is what I'm seeing, yes? Do you see the unit circle? Yeah, and this one is rotating, yes? Am I stupid? Yes, that's good. Are you okay? Yeah, that's rotating. And so how am I going to see? I, this is his key, yes? Yeah, I, actually I should say this is the key, yes? yes. Yeah, are you with me? Ah, I need your key again. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with your key. <laughs> okay, I have a question. When you are going like this, yes? At some point, you let it go. Where does it go? It doesn't go that way. <laughs> yes. So when you're rotating, at some point, if you let it go, the key will go into a tangent. No? Do you know what I'm talking about? So at some point, you let it go. And what is the direction? You, it goes directly. It goes in the direction of the tangent. Yes? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the meaning of a velocity, you know? Going like this, you, you let it go, then it goes into the direction of the tangent. Yes? Are you with me? Yeah? So actually, instead of rotating the key, think about you are walking around the lake. Yes? Yeah, so this is you. Are you with me? This is you. Yes? Yeah, you're walking along, along the lake at the speed of one miles per hour. Yes? The radius is one, and you are walking at the speed of one mile per hour. So therefore, if you walk x hours, then you will be walking along x miles. Yes? Are you okay? What is the speed? Speed is? A one, yes? One miles per hour. So therefore, you know the magnitude of this arrow. Because this one is velocity, so therefore this one is one. Ah, oh, you're brilliant. Yes, this one is one. Do you understand that? When you're walking along at the top, one mile per hour, so then the velocity is this direction, and the magnitude is also one, yes? Okay, so here comes the punchline. What is the punchline? Well, here's the little u, yes? Okay, little u has the coordinate of cosine x and sine x, no? Oops. Ah, I hit myself. Do you see it? Ah, no, you don't see it. Cosine x and sine x, are you with me? Okay, and you're computing the velocity. So what is the velocity? Cosine x, sine x is your coordinate, yes? Velocity, you are going to take derivative, yes? Are you with me? Yes, but then now, what is this guy? So if you look at the uh, small triangle, this one is cosine of x, and this one is getting crowded. Oops, I don't like this. Sine of x, yes? Can you see it? 
Yeah, okay. But then, look at this guy. Do you see the same right triangle, yeah? Hypotenuse is 1, this one is cosine x, this one is side x, yes? Are you with me? Yeah? What is this guy? This guy is? <coughs> this guy, this guy, yes? Cosine of x. What is this guy? Oh, yeah, brilliant. That's right. If you say sine of x, boo, yes? What is that? This guy is going the opposite direction. This one is minus sine x. Are you with me? Yeah? Now, here comes the punchline. So you figure the uh, expression of the velocity, yes? Yeah, this one is minus sine x and cosine of x. Bingo! What is the derivative of cosine? Minus sine x. What is the derivative of sine x? Cosine of x. You don't have to go through the uh, additional formula for the trig functions. Do you see the power? Are you with me? Okay, study hard for example one. Yes? Yeah, I will post the answer. Here's my graduate. Right, right.